Here you go, Sissy. Y'all just hang with me here. Good pick. You ready? Mm -mm. Good afternoon everybody. We're about to head to the grocery store. We've got a fun video for y'all today. So I have a list that Mel from In the Kitchen with Mama Mel sent me. We're doing a YouTube collab version of Chopped. Chopped, in case you don't know what it is, is a show on Food Network where there are contestants. They get this basket with lots of random ingredients and they have to make a meal out of it. I think they do like three different courses or something. I can't remember, I haven't watched it in a while, but I love it, it's a really fun show to watch. So they make something with whatever the random ingredients are and then the judges pick who gets chopped or in other words, who gets, you know, thrown out of that round of the competition and then at the end there's one person left who did not get chopped and they are the winner. I sent Mel a list, she sent me a list. We're going to the grocery store to get the ingredients. Do we want to get green cabbage or red cabbage? Green or red? I guess we'll go with green. Next up, oranges. I have some little mandies at home, but I think we'll go with navel oranges. Just keep walking, just keep walking. Boxed stuffing. I wonder if I should get the pork flavored since we're doing pork chops. They don't have Laurel Lynn pork kind, so we're just gonna go with the chicken kind. Next up, canned beans. Here you go, Sissy. Next up, pork of some kind, so it doesn't matter, just any kind of pork. We're going with pork chops. The last thing we need is yogurt. Sissy, you can pick which kind of yogurt. You can pick any flavor. Any flavor you want to pick. Strawberry. We have strawberry? Okay. Good pick. I also need laundry detergent. It's not on the list, but I just need that while we're in here, so we're going to grab it. <laughs> I'm double checking my list. Pork of some kind, cabbage, oranges, canned beans, box stuffing, yogurt. We're ready. Okay, y'all, here we go. We're back home. We have the pork chops, oranges, cabbage, boxed stuffing mix, canned beans, and yogurt. What would y'all do with this? Now, on Chopped, they have to think fast because they're timed. I had a little time to think about it because, of course, we just sent each other the list and we had to go to the store to get the stuff. So, I had a little bit of time to think. We'll start with the pork chops. So the first thing we're gonna do is season the chops. Now, if Titus was here, I would actually put these on the grill, but he's gonna be working late tonight. He's actually not even gonna be here for supper, so he's gonna have to try this later. Y'all just check out the description box. I'll let y'all know what he thought about this, or I'll tell y'all tomorrow. I'm not good at grilling things, and I will for sure burn them or something, so I'm not even gonna try that. We're gonna use the iron skillet. We'll do this pack first. I'm not gonna put a lot of seasoning on them because we're gonna be making a glaze to put over the top. So for the seasoning, I think I'm just gonna do a little salt and pepper. I've got the oil heating up in the skillet. So once we get the pork chops started, we'll go ahead and make the stuffing mix. Y'all just hang with me here. I think we can make something work out. I'm very excited to see Mama Mel's video. Y'all make sure you go check it out when you get done here. Now, I'll give you a hint. One of the ingredients that I gave her 
was Frosted Flakes. I'm really excited to see what she does with the Frosted Flakes. I melted a little butter in here too with the pork chops. We're gonna go ahead and fit in. I think I can fit three in. Okay, now we're just gonna cook these for about four or five minutes on each side and then they should be done. I didn't get the extremely thick pork chops, but they're not super thin either. So about four or five minutes on each side should do. I've got it a little over medium heat. Sissy's gonna be over here working with the yogurt. I could not think of really anything that I could add the yogurt to with the pork chops and cabbage stuff. So what we're gonna do with the yogurt and one of the oranges is make a little orange fruit salad. So we're gonna slice this orange up. She's also gonna put some bananas and grapes in with it and the yogurt is gonna be what holds it all together. I'm gonna slice the orange up for her real quick and then she's gonna use the butter knife for the bananas and the grapes because she'll be able to do that with the butter knife. I'll take care of the sharp part real quick. Okay, so what you wanna do, we want them to kinda keep the triangle orange shape. So I'm gonna cut them about this thick. The slices take the orange out like this. And then you just break it apart and you're gonna put it in the fruit salad like that. Okay. While Sissy's working on that and the pork chops are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the stuffing mix. First, we're just gonna prepare it the way the box says. That's the first thing we're gonna do. What we're gonna do with this is make stuffing and cabbage patties. So it's gonna be like, kind of like squash patties, but it's gonna be a stuffing and cabbage patty. Fried stuffing and cabbage patty. I think they'll be good. Sounds strange, I know, but I think it's gonna be good. Now, the canned beans, if you live in the South, you know that if you can't make homemade or if you don't have time to make homemade dry pinto beans, the next best thing is Lux, authentic Southern taste. So these are just gonna be a side dish to go with everything. We're also gonna use the oranges to make a glaze for the pork chops. So we're gonna juice this one and use that to make a glaze. Okay, we're pouring in the water and the butter for the stuffing mix. And we're just gonna stir that all around. All right, Cece's got all the fruits in there. Is that all you wanna put in? Yeah. Now she's gonna add in the yogurt, just probably about one more spoonful like that. Then when you get it stirred all together, you can put it in the refrigerator. Over here, we're gonna be chopping up the cabbage. I think this will be enough. If we need some more, we'll get some more chopped up. Now, I thought about using a food processor to chop this up really small, but I think I can just do it real quick. These pork chops are loud, y'all. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be enough cabbage. Just to have a little more to chop up here. That'll be cool. Okay, so we've got the stuffing and the cabbage in here. I'm gonna chop up an onion real quick. Although I'm sure there's probably like some dehydrated onions in the stuffing mix, but we're gonna put a little fresh in here too. Onions go in. Now I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt and pepper in here. And two eggs. Now we just mix this all together. I'm gonna get some oil heating up on the stove top. And we're just gonna make little stuffing cabbage patties out of this and fry them up. I'm gonna put just a little bit of flour on my hands because these are to stick to my hands. Okay, we're ready to make the orange glaze. We're gonna put in the juice that we just squeezed out of the orange. I've got it on simmer, so it's on really pretty low. <laughs> just wanna let it simmer. Now we're gonna put in some brown sugar. I'm gonna go with about a tablespoon. Maybe just a little more than a tablespoon. Now we're squeezing in about a fourth of a cup of honey. And we're gonna put in just a dash of chili powder. Just a dash. And that's it. Now we're just gonna let this come back to a simmer and it'll just start to thicken up a little bit. The beans are ready. And we're almost ready to eat.
Okay, so there's what we've got. Orange glazed pork chops, fruit salad with strawberry yogurt, stuffing and cabbage croquettes. Let's call them that. It's a little more fancy sounding. <laughs> stuffing and cabbage patties and Lux pinto beans. Let's see what it tastes like. We're giving the pork chop a try first with the orange glaze. Mm -mm. It is so good. You mostly taste the honey. There's just like a hint of the orange, which is weird because it was a cup of the fresh squeezed orange juice and just a fourth of a cup of the honey, but it's almost like a little hint of a citrusy honey glaze. That is great. It goes so good with the pork chop. Oh my goodness. That is great. Now let's try these. I would never in a million years have thought to make stuffing, fried stuffing cabbage patties, but y'all, these are so good. I cannot believe that those are both winners. Let's try Cece's fruit salad. Really good, and it all goes so good together because it looks summery, springy, summery, with all the fruit and everything. This is really good, y'all. We know looks pinto beans are good, but we'll try some just to see. Oh, hot, oh, hot. <laughs> those are still really hot, but good. All right, y'all, we've got the kitchen clean. That turned out much better than I thought. The kids didn't want to try the orange glaze on the pork chops, but it was really good. I kept telling them it was good, but they were too chicken to try it. So, by the way, mainly thought the pork chops were chicken. He loved it. All right, we're going outside now. The kids want to go out to play before bath time, but I'm going to have Mel's video in the description box for y'all. Let's head on over there and check it out. See what she did with those Frosted Flakes. I'm very curious about the Frosted Flakes. You ready? I'm ready. I'm coming. Manly's coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. 